let's look at the order by clause. What order, order by clause does is it allows us to sort the result, that is the output table, based on a specific column. And this will be more clear as we look into the query. So let's look at this first example where we have a column uh, where we are creating a table inside of the from uh, where we have x and y uh, x again so let's uh, comment this out run this so that will be more easier to understand here we should have two we have two columns x and y x has values 1 9 and null and then the y column has values true true false what we can do in this case using the order by x is we can order the values in x uh, here we have them already ordered i think uh, they start at lowest value and increase up to nine so if we run this uh, okay let's undo run this here we should see an output where this is sorted but then the order has changed a little bit the null values have come uh, ha have come up and they are the f uh, null value is the first value in this particular order additionally we can change the way this null works by default it is coming up as the first value we can also specify nulls as last and for that what we can do is we can specify nulls last in front of the order by towards the end of the order by clause and when we run this part we should see uh, output where the null column is now the last column in the output table that we have moving on let's look at another example where we can specify the order now what we have so far is one and then we have la numbers larger than one nine it comes after one we can change this so this would be ascending order and that is increasing order the values in x are increasing as we go from row one to two to three etc what if we put order by x descending in that case if you look in this query we can see that the order has changed now the highest number is the first num first in the first row and the lowest number is after uh, towards the end of that table and so we have nine followed by one in this case so descending helps us sort the entire table into a descending order now with descending we can still use the nulls first such that we can get all the null values uh, as the first records in the output after the order by is performed so when we have order by x descending nulls first then we get the nulls well null values first and then we get the descending order for the remaining values in the column x let's look at this uh, table where we have player statistics and we have three columns last name opponent id point scored so let's run this and see what this looks like well we already have this written so why not just comment this out and run the run this particular part of the query as is and we should see the table with three columns last name points scored and we have the opponent id three columns now each of these columns you can see that a b c a so this is not arranged in any specific order neither are these numbers that we see but we can uh, order them in the output by specifying the order clause and here we have written order by opponent id and last name so far what we have seen is order by just one column we can use more than one columns to perform the sorting so here what we are saying is first order by opponent id so this would be 51 52 59 and then 77 and then after that based on that order sort the last name column uh, sort the data set based on the alphabetical order in the last name column so alphabetical as in uh, the a for adams b for buchanan and so on when we run this query we should 
see the sorted output now. And here in the output, what we have is these numbers are sorted. We have 51 as the first number, 51, and then this is increasing right up to 77. On and then last name is also sorted. So we uh, this happens to be uh, just there happens to be just one value here. So there's no sorting needed in these three cases. However, in case of 77, there are two values. And as you can see, these are now sorted because the letter B appears before the letter C in alphabetical order. And therefore, the name Buchanan appears before the word Coolidge. And accordingly, the point scored column is sorted based on the arrangement in the other two columns. So that, that was another example where we can use uh, order by clause and this was using two different uh, columns. Next, let's look at another example where what we have now is uh, two tables. We have roster and team mascot. These, these are the same tables that we have been looking at in this series. And after that, what we are doing is we are pulling the school ID last name from roster table and un performing a union all with school ID and mascot from the team mascots table and then performing the order by based on the school ID. So let's run this without uh, without sorting the table. And when we run this, we, we should see that there may not be any specific order. So here, as you can see, the school IDs are not in any specific order. We can assign order to that particular uh, table that's in the output by specifying order by school ID. And so these should now get sorted as in increasing order 50, 51, 52, 53, 77, etc. So let's run this now with the order by school ID in place. And in the output then, we do see that uh, the uh, output table is sorted based on this column school ID that starts at the lowest value 50 and goes up to the highest value uh, 77. Now, apart from this, the way we can write this order by can be, uh, can be prioritized by using these parentheses. So the same, the uh, select statement that we wrote above, the what we have below is similar to that. What we are saying is that first select uh, records for, uh, columns from roster, then union them with records from team mascot. Once that table is created, then sort, then perform the order by based on school ID. And here we have explicitly written that by specifying the two select clauses along with the union inside of the parenthesis. So if we run this part of the query, it uh, what we should see is the same output that we just saw where we did not use the parenthesis. Let's see what the error is. I'm guessing we have this colon. Union, union all is not compatible with all string types. And let's see what we are trying to get. Okay, so what we can do is instead of using that, uh, why not just simply go ahead and use this particular uh, query and just put this inside of the square bracket, inside of the parenthesis and now run this. And we should see in the output uh, the results that are the same as what we had before. So it's the same result. We have the school IDs in increasing order, starting with 50, going up to 57. And this particular uh, uh, the feature where we can use parentheses, uh, we can use that to start in uh, any customized order. For example, before performing the union, uh, before performing the union of these two temporary tables, if you need to sort the team mascot first, we could do that by specifying the order by inside of the parenthesis along with the select from, uh, as we see here. So what this would do is it would perform this union all with uh, the roster table that is selected 
but then the second table that is going to be used is going to be a sorted table by school id and why not copy the same query that we have above and i'm going to put that here with exception that this bracket is going to be now written at this place where we have the select clause and now when we run ah, okay let's see and we need this inside of there so that should work and we can now run this query and we what we are doing as i said earlier is we are sorting the table uh, the second part so as you can see here this is sorted and that's because we sorted it before we uh, performed the union oil union all on this uh, neck uh, earlier table that was thing that was roster and this was roster and this was team mascot okay so that's a uh, one another variation of how the order by clause can be used next let's look at uh, yet another uh, variation where what we can do is comment this out before we go further now in this case what we have is we can use the uh, we can use the integer literals as column references as below so if we were to order by last name we could simply say this last name occurs at position 2 this would be position 1 in the select this position 2 so we could simply say group by 2 and then order by 2 and that would be this query would be equivalent of this query right here where we are using the column name instead of an integer value so if i uh, go ahead and comment this out and run this query now along with the width uh, that we have above we should get an output that's uh let's see what the problem is uh from player stats and we oh okay so we do not have the uh we do not have the table player stats there so what i'm going to do is a right team mascot and instead of point score i'm going to change that and write sum so put a sum there oh, sorry school id and then change this and put a school id there along with the yeah. So this, this should be fine now. If we run this, we are summing the school ID, although it doesn't make much sense to add up school IDs still for sake of this explanation. We should be able to see, okay. So last name is not there. So team mascot, of course, the last name is not in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that last name to uh, mascot and let's change. So we'll have to change all of these right here okay finally i think we should be able to run this query and uh, yes so we do have the output so as you can see we were able to perform the uh, addition here based on the school id but then there is not much going on there's a single singular values there and so we uh, yeah we do not see any differences but that that's how the integer values can be used instead of column names inside of order by as well as we did it did use it for the group by i hope you got some intuition about how order by works in the next video we'll continue our discussions with um, another sql clause until then please like share and subscribe thank you